hey everybody how are you I'm back I just did a video about the sevens eights and nines so check it out it's one right before this one um, I got a couple questions that I'd like to like this this bench is kind of snagging my my leggings uh, I got a couple of questions that I'm curious about oh and I as I said in the last video there's a bomb threat at the Empire State Building nobody knows anything it's an ongoing it's an ongoing uh, thing so um, waiting to see what happens there um, so uh, now I also have told you guys about this guy before but his name is Malcolm Malcolm Nance and somehow I woke up in the middle of the night one time and he, or maybe I even saw him on MSNBC. Um, this is a former, he calls himself the black guy that speaks Arabic. He was uh, in the Navy. He's a ch Navy ch ch chief something, I don't know. But uh, he was a spy and he works, he worked all over Africa and all the Middle East. Um, He's met Putin, and he has written three books uh, about uh, Putin, really. The, the downfall of America, or the, the plot to destroy America, the plot to betray America. Now, all of these are about Putin and what he's done and how he's gone about trying to infiltrate our country using assets human assets um, I think it was Boris Yeltsin that said if we ever destroy America it's going to be from within and that's that's their that's their MO um, if you guys are interested in you know like he talks about uh, QAnon and conspiracy theories and he's always good he gets up at three o'clock in the morning and he goes online and you know, to parlor or all these other ones just to see what they're saying because, you know, otherwise you don't know. Um, but he's super smart and uh, it's really awakening. Um, it's also frightening. Um, so if you guys can uh, take some time, and some of his interviews are like an hour long, um, he's often on Bill Maher. So, uh, if you guys, he's, a, he's got a lot of stuff on YouTube. Just, um, Google Mar Malcolm Nance. Um, he's cool. He's funny. He's smart, witty. Anyway, uh, I've learned a lot from him. So, um, well, what are we going to do about this stupid, um, president we have what a jerk okay let's say that everybody goes back because nobody's in DC right now everybody goes back the first of the year and they sign into order six hundred dollars or two thousand dollars or whatever the people that were on unemployment that ran out on Saturday miss a week of their insurance because they only have 11 weeks and now they'll be down to 10 because they've only suspended it into March so he's he's thoughtless and selfish and vindictive and petty he hasn't a clue what it's like to not be able to afford food I do um, or pay your electric bill I do I know what that's like Thank God, not in that situation anymore, but, you know, it could have so easily been the other way. So, I feel for these people, and I, I hate it that the, that the president of our country is messing with them like he is. Just to get back at somebody. <laughs> you know, the people in Georgia that aren't getting their check, um, hopefully they'll vote blue in the Senate for the Senate runoff. Okay, uh, also, did you guys hear about um, that there was somebody 
that Trump talked to all the time that now he's cut out of his life. Guess who it probably is? Sean Hannity. He's not returning his calls. And I think that what's happened is that Sean Hannity told him, dude, you lost. And he didn't want to hear it. So, um, okay, so about that uh, deal in Mar-a-Lago last week. Was it last week? No, it was Friday night. 28th. 28th? Is that right? What's today? I don't know. It was the day after, it was the, I don't remember, it was Friday. I talked about it before on an earlier video. Matt Gatz, Gatz is down there with no, with no mask. I mean, I'm hanging out with all the people at Mar-a-Lago. These people are crazy. All these people that are going out, there's going to be a huge influx of people into hospitals, and there's no room. There's no room at the hospitals. They're giving blood transfusions in the hallways in California. They, are, they have bodies stacked up in refrigerated trucks. I mean, they're going to be burying people en masse. It's, uh, it's Trump's fault. It is totally his fault. Yes, it started in China, but did he stop it? No. He just, he downplayed it lied about it. He's a mass murderer. He isn't any better than Hitler, who uh, at the end of, uh, end of the war, hit the people that were under him, said, do you want us to warn the people to get out? And he said, no, let them, let them kill him. I don't care. Because Trump will, I heard a quote today, and I don't know if it's a real quote, that he said, or if somebody just kind of put words in his mouth because this is what, the way he really feels. If you don't love me the way I love me, I'll burn the house down. And that's, that's him in a nutshell. If you don't love me the way I love me, I'll burn the house down. So, uh, okay, we have a new attorney general, if she gets confirmed. She's a, a doctor, she's a veteran. She, is an attorney, I think, too. Um, she's gay. She's uh, biracial or triracial. Um, so this ought to be really interesting. Will they get, confirm her? I don't know. And the Secretary of State is the, uh, the uh, Secretary of State that has to go through the hoops in the Senate is Antony. Blinken. Um, let's see if they're going to get confirmed. I'm using, today I'm using the Llewellyn Taro. Taro, Taro, potato, potato. Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> so, um, oh, did you guys see, uh, did you guys see when Melanie, Melania, Melania and Donald were walking from the Oval Office to uh, Marine Force One. They were chatting and talking and holding hands and all that kind of stuff, and they were on their way to Mar-a-Lago. Mar well, guess who wasn't with them? Barron. He wasn't there. Did he go to Mar-a-Lago? Was he already there? I don't know. Maybe they left him at home. Maybe he didn't want to go. I'll tell you, I found a picture. A recent picture. It was actually from the Rose Garden thing when she was at the Republican National Convention or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember. She, this is when she was wearing that red dress and gave uh, Ivanka the eye roll on stage. Uh, there is a photo of Donald Trump pointing. Mel Melania's in the middle. Barron's on, the, on one side. Trump's on the other side. And he's pointing at Bar Barron with a real shitty look on his face. And Barron is just like He's abusing he, he, He's just another kid that's being abused. Just like all of his other kids, except maybe Tiffany, although she's not been treated that great either. Good for her, though. She's a an attorney, got her, got her uh, went to school at Georgetown. Good for her. And hopefully she's out of the fray. Okay, so... Um, 
is Joanna Baden, B-E-D-E-N, going to be confirmed by the Senate? We're going to do six card yes or no's, okay? I, mean, I was able to get my setup back down here now that Christmas has passed. And because um, I thought my daughter was going to have company over here. The role of the company is they have to come in through the back door. They have to wear a mask. None of them can come up my stairs or into my kitchen. There's a bathroom down here and that she has to clean up everything before they leave and wash everything down. The handles, blah, 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 everything. You know, I mean, I know people that go to church. That's, I can't keep my kid in a prison. She's really, really good. She stays here and really doesn't complain. Um, but she's just going to go nuts, you know? And so if she had a couple kids over around Thanksgiving, like four kids, and they, they sat around here, socially distanced themselves, wore a mask, drank water, were here for an hour, and they left. But it was good for them to be able to get together. So, okay. Is Joanna Baden going to be confirmed by the Senate as a G? Because I thought they were looking at Merrick Garland, too. Now, remember... Um, Cups and wands are yeses. Pinnacles and swords are no. Major arcana are yeses. One, two, three major arcana right there. Knight of wands, that's a yes. No, yeah. It's a two, five of wands, nine of swords. So it's five to one. Um, these cards are so pretty. This is the hanged man. Let me get it up here and show you. I haven't used these very much, but how is the hell can I do this without the glare? That's the hangman. What's this one? Oh, the star. This is, again, the Llewellyn deck. And the moon. Oh, um, except for the moon, and the moon is a no, so it's two to four. Four is winning. The moon is a no. I always forget that. But we got the Knight of Wands and the Five of Wands also. So, yeah, she's going to be confirmed. Okay, what about Antony Blinken for Secretary of State? What are they going to do with Merrick Garland? Huh? Are they going to get rid of Kavanaugh and put him on the bench where he should be and should have been all along? I mean, he's still... A uh, he's still some kind of, fed he's a federal judge, and I'm pretty sure lives and works in D.C. Um, Spirit, can you tell us, is Antony Blinken going to be concerned, <laughs> concerned, confirmed as Secretary of State? Is Anthony Blinken going to be confirmed as Secretary of State? Anthony Blinken going to be confirmed as Secretary of State. Let's see. Two of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Three of Swords. Again, it's two to four. Yes, he will be confirmed. Four, four uh, yeses and two noes. Okay, what else do we want to do? This gets going to get COVID. Uh, I don't want to do that because I don't want to... I don't want to wish that on him. Um, okay, let's talk about the government shutdown. Because we need to know that. If we shut down, watch out, stock market. He will tear the whole thing down. 
if you don't love me the way I love me, I will burn the whole thing down. Right? He doesn't care. He does not care. Is there going to be a government shutdown? I mean, if they have to go back to the drawing board, there's going to be a government shutdown. Is there going to be a government shutdown? Can you tell a spirit yes or no? Is there going to be a government shutdown in the middle of a plague, in the middle of the winter? Is there going to be a government shutdown? Okay, I cut. Sorry, I didn't show you I cut. Not trying to cheat you. I want you to know I shuffled well and I cut. So, government shut down, yes or no? Well, there's the Ten of Wands. There's the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. So far, it's two to two. The Tower. Three to two. And a cup. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to allow that to happen. According to these cards, we got the Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Ace of Cups. The nose are Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Trump. i got to check off which ones of these I did. So that's a yes. Um, so I wonder. Okay, now you know this landlord tenant situation, not only the unemployment insurance has ended. He, uh, since he didn't sign it, they don't get the $600. And now we're going to shut down the government and landlords have a right to kick their tenants out of, out of their homes. So now we're going to have all these people on the street with no money and nowhere to go. In the middle of the winter, in the middle of a plague. Our landlord's going to be able to evict their their tenants. Our landlords gonna, and you know there's some cold ass land, landlords out there like Sean Hannity. I think he owns 800 homes that he rents out. Maybe VRBOs or whatever. I don't know. Um, you know what? At January 21st, I closed on my house in Asheville, North Carolina. It was a huge house, uh, eight bedrooms. I was using it as a VRBO, and I lived up here, and I had a property management take care of it. But the neighbors who owned the golf course decided that they wanted to buy it. And thank God did they buy it because, boy, would I be sitting there with a white elephant around my neck or what? Albatross, more likely. What more like it? I mean, there wasn't anybody traveling. There isn't anybody going to anybody's houses, you know. I mean, I used to have Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, all these holidays were packed full. They'd get 20 people in my house to, you know, rent it out for 900 a night. I mean, when you think about, about it, that's really not very much if you divide it all up. It's like, you know, I don't know, not very much between 20 people. Um, are we going to be able to get control over the Russian hacking. That's a big deal. Are we going to be able to eject Russia from our computer system? Are we going to be able to get control over the hacking that Russia did? Are we going to be able to get control Gonna be able to get control. Malcolm Nance says it's so far infiltrated. We're probably gonna have to set up a whole new system. Probably be the only way we'll be able to 
completely be sure that they're out. They're into everything. They're into the nuclear systems. They're into the treasury. Six of Wands. King of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Ten. Wait, what? Four of Wands. I thought it was. I thought they both said Ten of Wands. I'm not used to this card. Okay, it's three of three. Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Four of Wands, Ten of Wands. The Moon. That's a no. The Ten of Cups is a yes. What's this one? Five of Wands. So we got five to four yeses, okay? That's good. Eases my mind a lot. What time we got here? Okay. So, um, you know what else? I was reading the. I was looking at pictures of this of this year. You know, uh, 2020. Do you guys realize that most of the world is protesting? I mean, all over the world there have been protests. I mean, not just here. Um, what is it in the air? In the in in our time? Maybe it is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Finally, here, I've waited for it all my life. Being the Aquarian, I am growing up little kid in the 60s and hearing that song. I love that song. Hey, I'll tell you what's fun. Put your headphones in, get in bed when it's dark. Turn that fifth dimension song on full blast, man, and it, you can rock and roll out to that. It's so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. I love that song. Okay, so um, these QAnon theories these people, you know, I mean, really, truly, a third of the people in our country, the voters, let's say, a third of the voters are really in a cult. Are we going to ever be able to make those people see the light? Are we going to ever be able to make those, my sisters in it? Are we ever going to be able to bring those people the truth? Are those people ever going to come the truth. Are the people in the Trump's cult ever going to wake up? Are the people in Trump's cult ever going to wake up? Hopefully. Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Five of Cups, Ten of Cups, Temperance, Three to Two so far, and then Eye of Swords. Now it's Three to Three. Is that right? No, wait. Ten of Cups, Temperance, Three of Wands, and Five of Cups. Yes. Yeah, eventually they'll see the light. Now there was one more. I can't 60s stuff. I forget. I can't remember S-H-I-T if you know what I'm saying. Um, okay, so that was it. Uh, we'll eventually see the light. You know, Steve Bannon is back on the scene. <laughs> um, yes, yes. Shut down. What did I say about that? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I said yes. Um, okay, I 
just got a couple minutes left, but I want to know about violence. I want to know about violence. Is this going to get violent? Is this Biden taking office going to get violent? I mean, somebody could get hurt, killed. Is there going to be violence because of the election? Is there going to be violence because of the election? Is there going to be violence because Trump lost? Is there going to be violence because Trump lost? Let's see. Is there going to be violence because Trump lost? There's the tower. Seven of Cups. The star. Ten of Wands. Two of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Five to six. Yes, there's going to be violence because Trump is not elect has not been elected to the second term. Let's see, it's, Trump is never going to concede. I can tell you that. I don't need to look at the cards to tell you that he's not going to concede. He's a laser. <laughs> okay, we shouldn't make fun of him, but I think he earned it. He deserves it. So, okay, you guys, um, I'm going to go find out what's going on with the Empire State Building. And um, get myself something to eat because I haven't eaten today. So, and my feet are so cold down here in this basement. Concrete, well, the concrete floor, but it has, you know, vinyl tile over the top of it and a rug, but still. And I even have on wool socks. Smart, smart wool, you know. I'm, free, I'm freezing. So, um, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Hit the share, the like, the bell, the subscribe button, please. And um, I'm back as soon as I can. Thank you.